these empty bottles are getting loaded up, labeled and filled with Nevada's newest beer. This 30,000 square foot building is the new home of Revision Brewing Company. We do have a lot more space than we need today, um, but it's going to allow us to grow. And that's the thing is we wanted to make sure that we can just add tanks. We have the place to do our barrel aging. We have a place to store stuff. Jeremy Warren founded Knee Deep Brewing Company back in 2010. Since selling his shares more than two years ago, he's invested about two and a half million dollars into his new company, including a 3,200 square foot tap room. When you're here uh, having a, a beer with us, you get to watch the brewers brew, filter the beer, package the beer. You get to watch the beer go in and out of the cooler. And when we're dry hopping the tanks, this building's gonna smell beautiful. This is the second day of bottling here at Revision Brewing Company, where they're producing about 40 cases every hour. Once the beer is all packaged up, it's shipped throughout the country. The beer is being distributed in nine states, from California to New York. We're putting our business plan together right now to um, focus on international distribution. So one of our first uh, target countries is Australia. Warren eventually wants to produce 30,000 barrels per year, twice the state's limit. But the legislature is looking at a bill that would allow 30,000 barrels to be sold to distributors and another 10,000 in-house. If that doesn't happen, you know, we're, we're prepared for that. If we can only make 15,000 barrels of beer, but then it also forces us to build a second location out of state. And we're really trying to prevent that. Warren says he'll have around 25 employees by the end of next year, 50 if the bill passes. But it also depends on one other thing. For us, it's just getting our beer in front of people giving them an opportunity to try it. And once they try it, I'm really confident that they're going to come back to that product. Covering Money Watch, Paul Nelson, Channel 2 News.